And now to the Space Coast, where the Falcon 9 will have another chance at liftoff. You're looking at live pictures of the rocket still there on historic launch pad 39A, ready to take flight in that historic manned mission to the International Space Station. The launch this past Wednesday scrubbed because of bad weather. Now it's time for take two, and right now NASA is going over their pre-launch briefing before that historic launch tomorrow. News 6's Eric Von Aiken joins us live with how that NASA briefing went. Eric? Yeah, Kirsten Bridget just finished about an hour ago behind me over on my left in front of the countdown clock. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein saying that the rocket is healthy, everything looks good, they're ready to go. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin certainly are ready to go, but it's going to come down to the weather all over again. So right now he's saying we have two launch opportunities, Saturday and Sunday, both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. He's saying he's going to meet with the 45th Weather Squadron later on today, get some sort of briefing, and that's when they're going to decide, do they target Saturday or do they target Sunday afternoon? He says it's going to come down to probabilities. Is the weather good enough on Saturday to give it a try, or should they just go for Sunday? The other thing they've got to take into account is crew rest. They've got to give everybody a break around here. Should they try two back-to-back -back launches? He says all of this they got to take into consideration. So remember, this video Wednesday, <laughs> kind of uh, tough, I guess, for the astronauts, for NASA, for SpaceX, everybody on the Space Coast to see this when the astronauts had to be pulled out of the capsule. They were unbuckled, walked out, the hatch was open, they went back down that elevator, and they went back into quarantine for the next few days until we try again. NASA's administrator was asked specifically, why do we keep trying on days when the weather isn't great. Here's what he said. Uh, we could wait another week and we can see that the weather's gonna be good. The question is, why is the weather good a week from now? And the answer is, well, because the winds are gonna be east to west. And so all of the, all of the, the, the cumulonimbus clouds, all of the, the storm systems are gonna be on the west coast of Florida. So the weather looks like it's gonna be fantastic. The problem is, when the, when the winds are east to west, if we have a paddleboard capability, which we now have, which we didn't have under the space shuttle, if we have a paddleboard uh, triggered, um, you know, we're going to have our astronauts landing on land, and that is that is not that is not an option for us. The other thing to consider that we've told you a lot about is the weather in the oceans all the way up the east coast, all the way across the Atlantic, and even over to Ireland. So they got to look at that as well in case what Bridenstine just said there, there has to be an abort. And then the astronauts have to come down on the water. The seas can't be too rough. There is no such thing as a perfect weather day. So again, that's why the administrator is saying this afternoon they're going to talk to the weather squadron and decide if the weather for Saturday's launch attempt at 3.22 in the afternoon is good enough. For now, live at the Space Center, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6. We'll see you again at 4.